peace. Damn. Happy now. <laughs> now is the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Right now. Uh, just want to talk on the, the energy of, uh, you know, the, the color black. Just caught this vibe and, and caught a confirmation where I saw somebody else making a video about uh, wearing black hats. You know, but basically, in my fact, I should have had my hat with me in this video, but I was just doing it uh, so in the moment that I wasn't, you know, preparing props and all that. You know, see, that's how you know it's just all uniquely. <laughs> but, uh, you know, wearing a black hat, you know, adds extra psychic protection and i'm just you know speaking on that and just speaking of the energy of the black color because again the, the black hat in essence is a, a, a connection to saturn energy you know uh that that saturn energy uh of course what they use like i'm gonna say they the oppressing energies or whatever in this realm in this matrix you know use that saturn energy to try to box us in and literally you know box like uh you know, because uh, a box or a cube actually has six sides, you know, and, and the six sides is also related to six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. And again, that carbon energy, uh, the Saturn energy, you know, that energy connected to the to the, uh, the black color in general. And, and that's another thing, too, where, you know, the new age little uh, reverse psychology vibe of I don't see color I don't see color then why would the universe apply certain uh, energies to certain colors if it wasn't for us to distinctively and again like this this experience is about uh, individuality with the the knowledge of knowing how different things are interconnected not all one but interconnected you know and uh you know, that whole vibe of like, oh, I don't see color, I don't see color. Well, how you work on your chakras if you don't see color? And again, it's just the, the vibe where we, sh uh, as far as seeing color, it's not from an egoic mind perspective of just, you know, uh, trying to separate from an ego perspective, you know. But at the same time, being uniquely, you know, unique to your, your energy, you know what I'm saying? Again, like, the other parts of the body can't get mad at the heart for doing his job like the heart is pumping blood and doing what it should do and his job is uniquely different from other all the other body parts like no other body part pumps blood like the heart does but you know but it's not for the heart to get in its ego and be like oh i'm better than the rest of the body because i pump the blood and, and nor is it for the rest of the body to have a super uh, uh, inferiority complex of like oh the heart think is better than than uh than us because his job again that because the person don't realize from the inferiority perspective, you projecting what you think that person, you know, like how people be like, oh, that person, look at them, they think they're all that. When they really don't, but they just being themselves, loving themselves and, and, and being themselves to the fullest, but because you you don't know how to express yourself to the fullest on that level, that person is cocky or, you know, they think they're all that because they, they love themselves and expressing themselves fully with that love, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, and, 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 and it's not about us dimming our light just because somebody else ain't got their shit together, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a constant growth for all of us, but again, just uh, dealing with energy defense, and remember, you know, we're working with any crystals that claim to protect from negativity. What it's doing is grounding your energy, you know what I'm saying? Because for the most part, we attract these negative things due to our inner vibration. But if our inner vibration is a, in a place where it's uh, detoxified and cleansed, then you know we have a strong, courageous energy within us. Then we're not going to manifest the situations to be fearful of, or you know, our negativity. You know, like because this one is a popular one of a lot of people. Like uh, I'm looking for a stone to protect me from the negative people at work. Well, in some way, form, or fashion, all right, it starts with you. You know, either one, you 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 kind of got to a place where you're scared and you're fearing a certain person at work or something like that. You know, so you're gonna constantly attract that that energy. You know what I'm saying? So me giving a like, you know, you working with a crystal is again not putting a bubble around you, but it's gonna fortify your energy. Well, you'll stop being scared to interact with that coworker, or you'll be. Uh, or you'd be more courageous to say what's on your mind. So instead of like getting timid and not saying what you gotta do, what, what you gotta say, you're, you're speaking up. 
because a lot of what we deal with on a negative level is uh, due to us probably not fully expressing ourselves like hey I don't deal with that energy or uh, from a uh, more so from feeling helpless feeling like you know like you're attracting the energy due to uh, some type of fearful state or some type of lack of uh, you know courage in some way form or fashion and what these crystals do it, it, it fortifies you in your courageousness and your fearlessness to where you don't attract things I, the same example with the bully effect you know the bully at school could sniff out the fear you know and that's just how negativity is you know negative energy could sniff out when we're not balanced in our chakras you know it's like oh they they unbalanced right duh you know let's pick on them you know what i'm saying that energy so again working with these stones balance things internally you know not just speaking to again uh black minerals and, and the you know the energy they give off due to the color we're gonna uh get into that As a matter of fact it's coming from my crystal power crystal healing book This little bad boy right here. And, and and when doing things like say for instance me reading this aspect and dealing with certain aspects from a book, you know, always remember too, the knowledge is internal. You know, we, we have a lot of this information already inside of us. But right now again, uh they articulate this self this situation already, you know, is already together and I read it and agree with it, so that's why I'm sharing it, you know what I'm saying? But uh Black minerals absor absorb all the light and are therefore suitable for stripping off excess energies. This effect is particularly noticeable with pain. Pain arises looked at from the point of view of energy where this is a blockage and therefore an energy backup or bottleneck. They worded, they try to put too much into one sentence. Basically what they're saying is uh, like how pain arises due to blockages are you know energies being again like a uh, excess of energies you know kind of creating a, a blockage in essence you know just kind of like excessive cars at one at one intersection causes a blockage when you know everything is like the traffic is just full so it's like bumper to bumper type of vibe so it means it's blocked up but the flow of traffic can't really flow because everything is crammed in a certain area, you know, and that black energy or that, that you know, that the, the mineral, the black minerals and that, that black color in that sense, you know, has a vibration that, that strips off excess energies, you know, so that's basically what it's saying. Black minerals, for example, uh, smoky quartz, uh, obsidian and black tourmaline would, uh, will absorb this excess energy causing pain to disappear and relaxation to set in. As a matter of fact, uh, matter of fact I got my little smoky, like dealing with lower pack, lower, lower pack, lower back pains. <laughs> but pain in general, you know, the smoky quartz is good. And again, a lot of black minerals. As a matter of fact, I'm working with, uh, got me elite shungite. Matter of fact, if it don't have that little shine, you elite shungite. Matter of fact, and two, seeing the correlation. So right quick, I caught a download to, uh, you know, making sure we're working with carbon-based crystals right now too. So like elite shungite, which is like 98% carbon. You got amber, which has a high percentage of carbon in it. I thought about like, if you know, uh, you could uh, get your hands on a diamond, you know, cause a diamond is pressurized carbon. And then a uh, jet, the, the, the crystal jet or the, the stone jet. And jet is basically, jet is almost like, and what's funny, they all mix together cause shungite is light, you know, like shungite, amber and jet all feel like, well, you look at the size of it and it look like it should be heavier than what it is, you know? And they all kind of from that same element, you know, and carbon is something that is light. You know what I'm saying? When you think about, you know, the uh, number of electrons and stuff within it, because again, that's what makes certain elements heavier is due to, you know, like that's why something like gold has like a, I want to say 72, 76, you know, uh, matter of fact, I don't have to really guess too much. I think they got a periodic table in here. Let's see. Gold. Gold has 79 uh, protons in it, you know. So it's a heavier, you know, vibe compared to carbon, which has six. You know, carbon is very light. And I did a video not too long ago about the different, you know, uh, if you go look up the crystal vibrations playlist, uh, that I have a video where I speak on the different elements within the body. 
and, and why certain crystals do, you know, bring so much, uh, you know, have so much, so many beneficial energies in dealing with our body. But yeah, working with the amber, the shungite, and jet is basically, jet is almost like a, so it's like a cross in between amber and shungite in the essence of like, you know, jet is from a tree. You know, it's basically like extremely old petrified wood, so old that it's kind of turning back into that carbon element, you know, basically like into the shungite, you know, but uh, but it hasn't been pressurized, you know, or turned into a diamond in, in essence. So it's like all correlated. So amber, elite shungite, uh, amber, elite shungite, jet and diamonds, you know, for high carbon content. And check out my video on copper and a connection with melanin as well you know because again and, and what carb carbon is you know melanin melanin carbon all correlated all right let's finish black uh black does not apply to an organ in particular but works for relaxation in the entire organism the mental state is similarly affected here too Tensions are eliminated, and this makes us more resistant, or resilient, and more able to cope with stress. Black minerals give us security and stability. You know, and security and stability, Saturn energy. You know what I'm saying? That 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 Capricorn energy, the knees. You know, being that stable security structure, stability. You know, and there's no coincidence again that these certain certain beings within this realm of reality who have a a, a certain uh, high level of carbon within them. Are connected with these energies of eliminating things from the body like you know what 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 shungite does and i did a video on that shungite like each crystal has its own little universe like we all are walking universes and even down to the elements and and and, and shungite you know within its world you know and world w-h-i-r-l you know that spin of the tourist field within its world you know it doesn't it doesn't deal with any lower vibrations or uh toxins you know so shungite you know wherever it goes toxins seem to not be there or want to move around because it can't handle shungite's presence it can't handle shungite's vibration so it has to move around same thing like some like what's going on on this realm of reality you know you know some of us bringing this energy of a shungite crystal you know bringing this 98 percent carbon energy you know to this realm of reality and, and, and certain energy certain toxic energies can't handle that that that, that shungite energy you know you know, and again, it's a just a, a balance in, in certain energies, you know, displaying their uniqueness, you know, without putting the ego into it of like, oh, I'm better than you or I'm less than you. It's like, I am what I am and this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not going to not do what I do or not be what I am just because of somebody else's insecurities about who they are or what, you know, are still trying to find themselves or whatever the case may be, you know. So, uh, and then to end psychologically, uh, black keeps away distractions and help us concentrate on what is important and essential. As above, so below, as within, so without. That's also, you know, a universal law that cannot be changed. Therefore, if it cannot be changed, no, no matter how much logical reason somebody want to say, oh, you know, all things are just supposed to be one big glob of oneness. Well, nah, look as above, so below, as within, so without. Look how the inside of our body operates and outside of our body operates. Things do have unique colors and unique vibrations and have unique purposes, you know what I'm saying? And they do it in a symbiotic relationship with each other, you know, and not from an egotistical standpoint, you know. But again, uh, you see the correlations, you know. And again, even with... And, and that's why I like, you know, using the word melanated or for the lack of a better word, but you know, for whatever, you know, they say black people, you know what I'm saying? But again, that, that vibe is a lower vibrational vibe in essence too. Uh, like that doesn't really describe, you know, cause when they say, you know, the word black people, you know, that vibe is like, people only see it as, uh, dark-skinned people who speak English and who live in urban neighborhoods in America. You know, like, if you had to, you know, so say, for instance, somebody could be blacker than me, but because they're from the Dominican Republic, they're not black because they speak Spanish. Like, 
you know, so you see the foolishness in using that, you know, those terms. That's why I just like, hey, you know, highly melanated or, or not. And that kind of covers grounds of even, you know, with uh, people who may not have a lot of visible skin melanin. You know, I'm from Louisiana, you know, my sister very bright, you know, like we got like a little mixture, of all kind of vibes, you know. But it's like, are you embracing the melanin that is present within you? You know what I'm saying? But black helps bring hidden matters out into the open. You know, so like uh, all these little hidden matters that, you know, certain little oppressors try to hide certain little aspects behind this veil. You know, this this the, the, the energy of the black you know, uh, brings hidden matters out into the open and check out any of my videos on Black Obsidian because I speak on that with Black Obsidian, you know, uh, not only with the psychic protection, but bringing things out to the, you know, bringing things from out of the shadows in essence, you know. You know, and again, it brings out hidden matters out into the open, whether pleasant or unpleasant, you know what I'm saying? And through the absence of outer light leads us to discover our inner source of light you know because everything is about going inside it's not about looking for something externally that's the whole like end game and two i done made videos about you know uh again on some grown shit, acknowledging that we do have unique little differences and growths within this realm you know and, and some beings may not get how to tap in to certain aspects so they create situations in the ways they know how to tap in may not necessarily be wrong or right bad or good but like say for instance you know uh certain people trying oh we got to create these rocket ships and go out of space that ain't how you go out of space you know what i'm saying like that's only due to having a closed down pineal so you're trying to do it externally on a physical level and again i'm an indigenous being we've been doing things without those those elements like all that technology and stuff like that and that's the chess game too like where some beings are maliciously promoting technology some are doing it because they just you know that's all they know because they don't again like uh they may lack a certain connection so it's like i gotta you you know feel like i gotta fly a rocket ship or do something external to get to this connection when it's all internal you know what i'm saying and you know that's the whole vibe but again Dealing with the, the the black energy, you know, on all levels from the crystals. Matter of fact, why the Gothic people, you know, what wore all the you know, wear the black like that, you know, in connection with that energy. But, you know, wearing the black hats, you know, definitely provide a certain level of uh, psychic protection, you know. So, you know, if you got that little savage style, because that don't mean everybody, like, you know, like even if you feel funny in a hat like you know if you don't rock with it then don't rock with it there's other ways you know of you know keeping yourself aligned and uh you know protected in so many words quote unquote but you know for those of us who don't mind wearing hats and things of this nature the black hat you know again especially the one like y'all see me with like the little top hat type of vibe with the little brim like the saturn's rings you know and it's black you know representing the saturn energy as well so you know tapping into that realm Again, there's no coincidence. Again, uh, the crystals like smoky quartz, shungite help to protect against harmful electromagnetic waves, you know, like the Wi Fi and the phone radiation or this 5G network and bullshit like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's always a great vibe. But that's basically it, you know, just wanted to share that aspect of, you know, working with the color black in general and how it co correlates as above, so below, you know, again, as beings, you know, like, uh, in these human body suits, we are just representations of a, you know, a, a, a energy in essence. You know, and, and more so, like let me be clear. You know, uh, we are the no thing expressing itself, and when we express ourselves, it gives off an energy. You know, like that that will and that fire. You know, and that action. You know, expressing ourselves within this realm is what create we are creators and we create the energy and not necessarily uh you know not necessarily are the energy in that essence you know but again it's all termina terminologies too that we just use for the best of our abilities to you know to share these messages you know within this realm but uh 
Yeah, that's basically, you know, basically it, you know. And again, right now is a great time to be working with carbon-based crystals like, a, you know, again, like an amber, a jet, shungite, you know, all your black crystals, you know, helping detox, remove some energies. And I got other videos that go deep into it, but I just caught the vibe to speak on it. Just, the, the, again, like the energy of the color black and dealing with minerals and also, again, like wearing a hat and that Saturn energy and that whole connection, you know. And again, I got videos. Matter of fact, I got an old video about the uh, the knee chakra and the Capricorn energy. Go check that one out where I go into depth and, in, you know, connecting that, that energy and seeing, again, like how all that correlate with each other, you know what I'm saying? But that's basically it, you know, just working with the black crystals right now. But that's what, as above, so below, you know, that's what the earth is doing right now. It's working with its black crystals, you know. And again, not necessarily in the form of, in a human form, or you have to look like what a black person look like. Some people have a neuromelanin where they, they may not have a lot of visible skin melanin, but they got neuromelanin. And again, because the ancestors, our vibes, we could, we could incarnate into whatever body suit we want to, you know just keeping that in mind but just as a majority you know most of us came down into a melanated bodysuit because of how it you know this this plane of existence you know connects with the carbon aspect or the melanin aspect on it. so you know it makes for uh and, and two is all karmic energies too you know what type of body suit you're dealing with in this lifetime you know too so again it ain't nobody else's fault it's all our soul travels and what we're dealing with you know but, you know, again, that whole aspect, you know, uh, earth, earth earth working with, uh, you know, them dark crystals. Shout out. I got to watch that. Uh, what that is? Jim Henson, the dark crystal. You know. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. That's basically it. But peace. Peace. Happy now. Now is a vibrator course. Not too far in the future, not too far in the past, right now.